hey guys in this video we're going to be looking at the subtraction of fractions taking one fraction away from another fraction now if you want loads and loads of examples if you want to practice as much as you can then you can try the multiple choice questions on my website or you can go and download the workbook in this video we're going to go over some easy fractions, some medium fractions, and some hard fractions. If you can do the easy ones already, then skip to the medium ones. If you can do the medium ones, then skip to the hard ones. If you try the medium ones and you're feeling pretty confident with those, then challenge yourself and do ones that are slightly harder than you're used to. This is a brilliant way to push your grade up. Starting off with five over seven minus three over seven. Because they have the same number on the bottom, we can rewrite this as 5 minus 3 over 7. 5 minus 3 is 2 over 7. 5 over 11 minus 2 over 11. Again, we can rewrite this as 5 minus 2 over 11 equals 5 minus 2 equals 3 over 11. 8 over 13 minus 12 over 13. 8 minus 12 over 13 equals minus 4 over 13. 7 over 20 minus 3 over 20. 7 minus 3 over 20. 7 minus 3 equals 4 over 20. Both of those numbers are divisible by 4. So we can do 4 divided by 4 that gives us 1, 20 divided by 4 that gives us 5, so 1 over 5. 11 over 9 minus 5 over 9, 11 minus 5 over 9 equals 11 minus 5 equals 6 over 9. Both 6 and 9 are divisible by 3, so 6 divided by 3 equals 2, 9 divided by 3 equals 3 so our answer is 2 over 3. Moving on to some slightly trickier ones now where the numbers on the bottom are not the same. First thing we need to do is to make them the same. So to make the numbers the same I'm going to times this one by 10 and I'm going to times this one by 6. So 4 over 6 times 10, 4 times 10 is 40, 6 times 10 is 60. 2 over 10 times 6, 2 times 6 is 12, 10 times 6 is 60. So the sum that I'm going to end up with is 40 over 60 minus 12 over 60. We can write 40 minus 12 over 60, 40 minus 12 is 28 over 60. Both 28 and 60 are divisible by 4, so 28 divided by 4 equals 7, 60 divided by 4 equals 15, so our answer is 7 over 15. 4 over 5 minus 2 over 3, again we need to make the bottom number the same, and times this one by 3, and times this one by 5, 4 over 5 times 3, 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 3 is 15, 2 over 3 times 5, 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 5 is 15. So the sum we're actually going to be doing is 12 over 15 minus 10 over 15, or 12 minus 10 over 15. 12 minus 10 is 2 over 15. 2 over 3 minus 1 over 7. We're going to times the first one by 7. We're going to times the second one by 3. 2 over 3 times 7. So 7 times 2 is 14. 3 times 7 is 21. 1 over 7 times 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 7 times 3 is 21. So we have 14 over 21 minus 3 over 21 or 14 minus 
over 21. 14 minus 3 is 11 over 21. A half minus a quarter. Now here I'm just going to times this one by 2 to make it 4. So 1 over 2 times 2 equals 2 over 4. So the sum we're going to be doing is 2 over 4 minus 1 over 4 or 2 minus 1 over 4. 2 minus 1 is 1 over 4. 2 over 5 minus 1 over 3. I'm going to times this one by 3 and this one by 5. 2 over 5 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times 3 is 15. 1 over 3 times 5. 1 times 5 is 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So I'm doing 6 over 15 minus 5 over 15, or 6 minus 5 over 15, which equals 1 over 15. Slightly more complicated one now, but we're still not using our calculators for this. First thing we need to do is to make these top heavy fractions. So, uh, 7 times 3 plus 2. 7 times 3 is uh, 21 plus 2, 23 gives us a fraction of 23 over 3. 3 times 10 plus 1, 3 times 10 is 30 plus 1 is 31 over 10. So the sum we're actually going to be doing is 23 over 3 minus 31 over 10. And again, we need to make these bottom numbers the same, so we're going to be times this one by 10 and this one by 3. 23 over 3 times 10. 23 times 10 is 230. 3 times 10 is 30. 31 over 10 times 3. 31 times 3 3 is 93, 10 times 3 is 30, giving us 230 over 30 minus 93 over 30, 230 minus 93 over 30, 230 minus 93 is 137 over 30. And this gives us a final answer of 4 and 17 over 30. Here we have 7 and a half minus 2 and 4 fifths. Again, we need to make these into top happy fractions first of all. So 7 times 2 plus 1. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 1 is 15, giving us 15 over 2. 2 and 4 fifths, we have 2 times 5 plus 4. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 4 is 14 over 5. So we now have 15 over 2 minus 14 over 5. And what I'm going to do is get the same number on the bottom. Times that 1 by 5, times that 1 by 2. 15 um, over 2 times 5. 15 times 5 is 75. 2 times 5 is 10. 14 over 5 times 2. 14 times 2 is 28. 5 times 2 is 10, giving us 75 over 10 minus... 14 over 10, or 75 minus 14 over 10, which equals 47 over 10. Um, we need to cancel that down so we can see that um, 47 will go into 10 four times and 7 over 10. 5 and 9 tenths minus 3 and a quarter. So again, we're going to make this top heavy first of all. 
5 times 10 plus 9, 5 times 10 is 50, plus 9 gives us 59 over 10. 3 times 4 plus 1, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1, 13 over 4. So 59 over 10 times 13 over 4. I'm going to times this one by 4 and this one by 10. 59 over 40 times 4. 59 times 4 is 236 over 40. 13 times 4 times 10. 13 times 4, uh, 13 times 10 is 130. 4 times 10 is 40. So we have now 236 over 40 minus 130 over 40 or 236 minus 130 over 40 236 minus 130 gives us 106 over 40 both those can be divided by 2 which will give us 53 over 20 53 goes into 20 twice so that is going to equal 2, giving us 3 over, no, 13 over 20. 2 and 13 over 20. 11 and 2 thirds minus 9 and a fifth. So I need to do 11 times 3 plus 2. 11 times 3 is 33 plus 2, 35 over 3. 9 times 5 is 45 plus 1 equals 46 over 5, giving us 35 over 3 minus 46 over 5. What I'm going to do is times this one by 5 and this one by 3. 35 over 3 times 5 equals 35 times 5 is 175 5 times 3 times 5 is 15 46 over 5 times 3 46 times 3 is 138 over 15 175 minus 138 over 15, um, 175 minus 138 is 37 over 15. Um, we can see that 30 will go into 15 twice, so that's 2 and 7 over 15. 9 and 3 tenths minus 5 and a third. The first thing we need to do is to make these top heavy. So 9 times 10 plus 3. 9 times 10 is 90, plus 3 gives us 93. Uh, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 equals 16 over 3. So we have 93 over 10 minus 16 over 3. Now I'm going to times this one by 3 and I'm going to times this one by 10 to get the numbers on the bottom the same. 93 over 10 times 3. 93 times 3 is 279. 3 times 10 is 30. 16 over 3 times 10. 16 times 10 is 160. 3 times 10 is 30. So we have 279 over 30 minus 160 over 30 or 279 minus 160 over 30. 279 minus 160 will give us 119 over 30. Now we know 120, we're going to 34 times. This one's going three times and we have 29 thirtieths left over.